Welcome back to Poems and Stories to Remember. Hi, dreamers. Okay, so let's get to this. I don't, I didn't check. It may be still morning. I'm hoping it's still morning. <laughs> um, been busy this morning, uh, running around taking care of stuff and uh, with my son and stuff like that. And then taking care of some business that I have to take care of. Now that I have this day off, I'm able to get a lot more stuff done and it helps me to get that break in between I need and I'm not stressing. Um, when you know you have stuff during the week, but you work all week long. Um, and then, like I said, I was suffering from migraines, but even now my migraines are not as bad. I did have one um, last Thursday. I had to, um, you know, take off. I had it. Well, I had a, uh, a bad rash going on too, but I had a, I think it was because of the rash. It was, it was burning under, under my arm. I had a rash under my arm. I think I'm allergic to the um, deodorant that I was using. But anyway, I went to um, urgent care to, you know, to, to see what was going on and everything. And they, they gave me some topical cream to put on it. And that's been working. It actually got rid of all that rawness that was under there. So I'm happy for that, and I stopped using that deodorant. So um, my skin is very sensitive. I have very sensitive skin, so I have to watch what I use. Even on my face, I'm not able to use, uh, like, soap bars. I have to use, like, uh, you know, moisture, like, moisturizers and, and cleansers like that. I can't use just direct soap on my face. So anyway, uh, like I said, between that and then I had a little... Uh, migraine the other day i i delayed work for two hours but was able you know the medicine kicked in i was able i was i was good i went to work and you know finished work so i was happy about that so i'm learning to balance in my you know like i said you know the condition i have with life and work and still being able to take care of stuff makes it a lot easier um i wanted to start this video with the announcements but i also wanted to talk a little bit just talk i'm not going to read any poems today i'm going to do our um not the positive but i was led to do hidden, hidden money blocks and you got this for today so i'm going to finish up with that but i wanted to get into a little detail because there is a lot going on and i know even if there's a lot going on in my life i know other people have a lot of things going on so people are trying to balance work family bills your, you know, everything, just life all in itself. And sometimes that can be a lot. And trying to balance that and then not feeling like you have, you're not having a break can cause stress, anxiety, and depression in some. So we, I want to take today and just talk about, you know, things that we can do that can help us to manage our life in a whole when it comes to your family, when it comes to your bills, when it comes to, you know, life, it's always good to have help, even if it's just someone in your ear giving you a positive, you know, outlook on your circumstance. It's always good to have. We don't want to close the door off to everyone. We want to make sure that we have someone positive in our life that's there to help encourage us. And then you, you give back the same thing. You're giving them encouragement when they're going through. Okay. Uh, because you can't be a superman or a superwoman and think that you're going to be able to do everything and all things all the time. So you want to release the pride and the ego and allow help, allow those who are genuinely trying to help you from a good place to do so. Whether it's monetary, verbally, emotionally, whether, no matter what type of help they're offering, if they're coming from a good place, then allow that person in and allow them to you know, supply you with that help. Because trying to be Superman or Superwoman all the time is going to find yourself in a situation where you're either you're going to have poor health, you're going to be exhausted, it's going to work on you mentally, so it's going to cause you to have mental issues, like uh, you know, and it could cause anxiety, and like I said, it could cause stress. And along with stress comes high blood pressure, um, migraines, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
And in some people, stroke. So you want to make sure that you're not doing things that's going to cause other issues to happen that wouldn't be there if you would simply allow those who are willing to help from a genuine place to help. Okay? You also want to manage yourself and don't stress yourself, stretch yourself too far. So what I mean by that is, um, had a couple of friends that thought taking on a second job would be good to help them with the bills. But what I explained to them is, if your first job is not paying you enough to take care of all your bills, shouldn't you just should be looking for another job that's paying better rather than taking on a second job? And now you're taking away time if you have family from your family. You're taking away me time for yourself. Okay. And when are you going to have any time to do anything else if you're working two jobs? So we should never look at it as working two jobs to help maintain the bills. We should always look at it as finding something that will work within your schedule that will help you to maintain your bills the way you need with one. Okay. Now, if somebody's alone and they want to fill their time with work and they don't, they don't, they feel as though they're not going to, you know, they're not trying to deal with anyone right now and they want to take on two jobs. I still wouldn't advise that because the toll that it takes on your body in the long run is going, to, you're going to, you're going to regret it. And say later down the line, you do finally meet someone that you want to spend your time with. Now you, you've exhausted your body from all the working. So as when we're young, we feel like we're, we're, you know, we're able to conquer and do all. But you have to remember that once you're young, you still have to, you know, get older. And in getting older, you don't want to call do things now that's going to affect your body later. Okay? So you always want to be mindful of that. When, when you want to take shortcuts, shortcuts to me are things that will allow you to do things in one simple product process in, instead of in multiple processes. Okay. That's what a shortcut to me is not shortcutting around doing your work or anything like that. It's just saying that instead of taking on two jobs, let me find one job that will actually get me to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish if I was to take on two. And that way I can still have that work life balance. I can still spend time with my family I can still do the things that I need to do to make myself happy. Okay? And that's very important because if you're not happy, then you're not going to put that 100% into your job and you're certainly not going to have the 100% to put into your life and your family. Okay? Very important. You know, things that I've been, you know, even having conversations with my my children about, um, and basically telling them that, you know, it's all exciting when you get your first job. But you want to make sure that you like the first job that you're going to. And you're not just doing it for the money. Because the first job for the money, soon that, sooner or later, that excitement dwindles out. And now you're mad because you were just working the job for the money and you didn't really like the job. So you always want to make sure that when you get something, you're getting something that you like so you can put your 100% into it. And... When you put your 100% into it, you'll get the result back that you want. Okay? I was uh, discussing with my um, my son about, you know, life in general and how he's, you know, he's 18 now and eventually going to be looking for his own place. And I told him with the way the economy and stuff is nowadays, a lot of uh, young men who have graduated from high school are not easily able even with the best of jobs to go out and get an apartment on their own because the apartment prices have went up. It's not the same prices that it used to be. And so a $600 apartment now is probably eight or $900. And so I told him, you have a brother and this is the time for you to build that relationship. Learn how to manage your money with the, with, you know, learning how to help have help with two. And manage your money. So instead of looking for a one-bedroom apartment, look for a two-bedroom apartment and split the bills. You already live with your brother, so you already know his habits and everything. And then by getting your own bedrooms, you can still have your privacy. You can still, you know, have your company. You can still do the things that you want to do. 
but it will help you to manage your money so all your money's not going into one thing. So if you went on your own, you're paying solely your rent yourself. If you have electric, you still have to pay that. If you have gas, you still got to pay that. And then you have to pay your phone and all your other bills. And don't. And if you get a car, you still have to pay for your car. Well, if you buy your car outright, that would outright that helps, but you still have car insurance. And then if something happens because it's a used car, okay, you still have maintenance on a new car. But if something happens with a used car, you still need to have the money. So in this, in the reality, when you look at things from a realistic point of view, having that second person there that you already know you get along with. And that person is contributing just like you helps in the long run. It helps way better than you trying to do everything yourself. And then eventually when you're able to save up the money, because you're going to also save money during this time, because you're not spending all your money and all the bills. So you're going to put aside some money from each check. And, you know, you're going to work towards getting, you know, you a, a better job and all that. And this will help because you could still go to college and still work and, and bring in money to take care of your bills. So when you're looking at it from this realistic point of view, it is doable. It is doable because you're allowed, you're not putting all the pressure on yourself. When you're working a job and trying to maintain your apartment by yourself, you you unless you go online and do online schooling after you get off of work, you can't really go to school like you could if you did it the other way. So like there's all different types of things that you can do to assist yourself, but you have to think realistically and from a logical point of view. And so basically I just, I came on here today because I wanted to open up the doors for people to stop and think uh, journal. I, you see this book, this is my announcement book, but I have several of these books. I have books that I brainstorm in. I also get the, the, the notebooks that I used to get for my kids. I always keep one thick one of those because I, I do a to-do list for the day. If I have a lot of things that I need to do, I write down those things that I need to do and check them off. And you know what? At the end of the day, it makes me feel a lot better to see that I've either accomplished everything that I needed to do for that day or I accomplished the most important things and those things are done. Okay. I do that on a regular basis. I was so happy to see um, we created, we recreated our short-term list because our short-term list with everyone pretty much was okay. I think I carried some of mine over. The goals that I did not meet for that time got carried over. And some I did take off the list because some of them realistically, I wasn't going to be able to achieve at this point in time, but I understood them not to be short-term. They were actually long-term. But we recreated our new short-term goal list. Anything that we had on the list that we didn't accomplish, we moved up to the top. And then we actually short uh, created a family short-term and long-term um, goal list for the summertime. We did this for the summer. so, And I was really happy about that. So we were able to achieve one of the things that we wanted to do, and which was a road trip to North Jersey. Um, we don't have a White Castle in South Jersey, so we decided we wanted to take a road trip, go to North Jersey, and go to eat at White Castle because we do love their burgers. And I love their onion rings and their chicken rings. So even though it's not a big list of things, we like taking road trips. So we, we like taking the scenery. And then just having fun as a family. When we get in the car, we ride trips like that. We turn on the music and we all sing and enjoy each other's company. And so we did that trip. We took that road trip. And so we were able to actually achieve one of the things off of our um, short-term family um, summer list. And I actually, I'm going to replace uh, one other thing on the list um, on them. I'm going to add one other thing to the list because I think we only did like seven or eight things. And so if with that one off, it knocks us down to seven, but we have up to 10 that we can add. So I came up with another ideal after doing that one that I'm going to add to the list today when I get finished with this video. But um, yeah, I've been working on um, my today, things to do list today. I had a couple things that I had um, initially uh, set up to do, wind up uh, rescheduling one and canceling another because realistically I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get uh, do that in the manner I was. So, but I'm still able to do it. 
So, um, uh, I wanted to say that I'm counting down till my son arrives. Very excited. So, um, not so much as him coming. I am actually uh, driving to Michigan to pick him up and bring him back. So, I'm all excited about that, to pick him up and bring him back. So, uh, we will be leaving out um, not, not this week. We're not finishing this week, but next week. We will be leaving out on um, on a Friday, so um, I've you know again made a list of things that I needed to do. I always GPS, but I always write down my uh, driving directions when I'm going to a place where I haven't been. I write them down so I have it on paper too. So if something was to happen, the phone was to die or something, I still know how to get where I was going. I'm going to make sure I charge up my phone and stuff and make sure I bring my charger for the trip, you know, because I am I am staying overnight the first night because it is, it's a, um, actually where I'm going is 11 hour, 11 hour drive. So I'm going to stay overnight and then the next morning come back through, pick them up and then head back. So it's not, it's not, it's not a weekend trip. We're just going down to pick them up. And bring him back up because he can't stay down there any longer. And he needs to be up here with us. Plus, I'll get to see my granddaughter and his girlfriend is coming up to stay. So, And then he'll be up here for seven months. So he's doing a seven months on, five months off. And then he'll go back down and visit with um, her family for five months until they get their house. So we're doing all this, but we're both working on getting our houses. And so we're, he's doing the back and forth until he gets his house. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to announce that. I wanted to um, just tell you that um, uh, September is coming up. And September will also be the month that I will be um, announcing the winner of the Hardship Cash Giveaway. Um, and I will go back on my next video and show the people in the progress of what they've done and um, go from there. But yeah, when I come back from the trip, we still, you know, have some time. But it will be announced in September, um, the winner, okay? And that's for sure. I've already chosen who I wanted to win based off of their hardship. So I, I'm going to sit down and put all that stuff together. Not going to give out the person's hardship because it is their private but I'm going to give the reasons why I chose that hardship, okay? Because I don't want to give out anybody's business without their permission. But I'm grateful for those who took the time out to send me their hardship and followed the instructions to the T. And to let you know, because of that, I am doing a second hardship. I will be announcing uh, sometime after when I will start the second one, okay? So I decided to do a second one. And I actually have a dreamer who's contributing uh, monetary-wise to the hardship to help others. So I do have dreamers who, um, you know, know the struggle and understand and always want to contribute. So, And then I have other supporters who like silent supporters. They don't want me to give their information out, and that's understandable. There's nothing wrong with that. But they, are, they do support monetary-wise to help. So I did speak about going in and doing a mystery um, um, cash giveaway where I would go in the comment section and put uh, uh, either a dollar sign, flying money or money, or just a money, money, and uh, no, flying money, money, and flying money. So I haven't decided which way. I might do it both ways. So we'll see. But um, yeah. You'll know if you are the winner because you will see that next to your thing. And I will choose the winner. So if somebody tries to go in there and puts it on themselves, I'm writing down who I'm choosing. So please don't tell me you won if I haven't even started it yet because you stuck that on your, um, your thing. I know who I'm choosing. I write it down, the person I chose, the name, and all that. So I don't want anybody trying to figure out another way to try to scam, okay? Um, and I'm not talking about my dreamers. I'm talking about new people that keep popping up out of the blue when they hear about my cash giveaways, okay? I know my dedicated dreamers are honest and to the point, 
and they know that my channel is legit and they, they don't have to scam to get anything, okay? You know that for a fact. So let's get right to it. Let's get to the hidden money blocks and see what's going on. Because like I said, uh, with uh, what I was talking about earlier, there are struggles. So with the struggles, we also want to be mindful of what we can do to release that negative energy that's keeping us stagnant and stuck. Okay? That's blocking your money. We want to make sure we're not carrying on generational things that, that previous family members did that kept them in a, in a negative mindset. Okay? We always want to look at things from a positive point of view. Even though we struggle and everything is not going to be picture perfect, you know, you're still allowed to be emotional. But at some point, you want to come out of those emotions and look for something. You want to find that peace, peace of mind and think and say, hey, wait a minute. Why am I in this situation? What is keeping me uh, in stuck and stagnant? Why isn't money flowing to me? You want to ask yourself questions instead of just getting into a depressed mode and 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 being depressed and 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 talking negatively about yourself and about your circumstance. You don't want to do that, okay? So, let's see. We want some hidden money messages. Got one that will help us you know, will help us release that flow of money cuz money is an energy and it flows to you. When you're not blocking it, okay? Or when you're not doing things to cause it to be blocked. So some more messages, please. Hidden money. I'll get probably two more. We'll do a total of three. For my dreamers and anyone new watching. There's two. And there's one more. One more message for my dreamers. There's another one. Thank you. Okay, and yeah, two of these we already got before, so we definitely want to make mention of this, okay? So the first one says blocked root chakra. May experience pessimism, poor focus, and lack of ambition and purpose. Do you want to unblock your chakra? To heal your root chakra, use... Uh, what I do is I go on... And I let the, uh, there's a sound that they play. So if you go to YouTube and you put in a blocked root chakra, there are um, healing. They play little meditation uh, music that you can use to where you'll take the time out. You'll be in your room by yourself. And I, I always go in like the, uh, you know, this position where you cross your legs. They call it the ending position. And I just sit there and, and let everything be at peace around me. And I play that if I feel like something is blocked within me. And I play that music to let that release that, you know, put that energy in. And it helps me to think and clear my mind. You can also go to your Heavenly Father in prayer. That's a, a suggestion always first. But I also do other things to help me, you know, along my way. So um, to heal your root chakra... Use crystals. It says use crystals, but some people don't. You want to use crystals, okay? You can do the heal healing from the YouTube, or you can go in prayer. Um, always go. I, I do both. I go in prayer first, always, and then I'll do that just to help me. It's like a meditation for myself to help you feel secure in your choices and reignite the love and excitement for life, okay? So this one is blocked root chakra. Yeah, and if you are, like I said, when I was talking about what I was talking about earlier, if you're not feeling excited about things and you're feeling depressed because you don't know how you're going to make ends meet, that's blockage. That's blockage right there, okay? You want to you make sure that, you know, you take time out to journal. Instead of worrying and being depressed, write down how you feel. That helps you to release too. Write down how you're feeling about your situation. If you're not happy about what's going on in your life, write it down. But when you do write down that negativity, negativity about what's going on in your life, then write down something that you think you, that can be done pot to help you positively. Whether it's talking to a friend because maybe at that time you're not ready to talk to your friend. Okay, so maybe you can write down things, suggestions on what I can do to get myself out of this mindset. 
talking with a friend, watching, maybe you need to watch TV or favorite show that makes you laugh and gets you back in a positive mindset. Maybe you need, excuse me, maybe you need to go for a walk to clear your mind. Maybe playing music to relax it. Okay, there's all different types of ways that you can open up yourself to a positive point of view, okay? Okay, the second one is waiting to be saved. Others may help you, but it's still on you to generate your own success. Be your own savior. Believe in who you are and realize that you are more powerful than you know. Dare to go after what you want and be your own savior. So this is the concept of someone always asking for something and never trying to do anything themselves to help themselves. They just run to someone else and always ask for help. That's, that's waiting to be saved. You're not doing any work. That's why it's not happening. You're, you're, you're always constantly just wanting someone to do it for you. That can't be like that. You have to do the work. You have to, even if it's just mentally jotting down things in your mind that you can do to help bring money towards you. If it's something that you're trying to achieve or accomplish mentally thinking of things that you can do to accomplish your goal, but you can't always go to other people for help because remember, nobody is so rich that they don't, they, they might not need help within themselves sometimes either. Okay. Even the, the people who, who work hard and make their money and have a lot of money because they've used their money wisely, still at some point have someone that they talk to or confide in or whatever. So you, I mean, like literally, and they, and they thought for themselves and that's the reason why they're at the place they're at. You don't want to just keep running to other people, okay? Mental health, an ongoing level of sadness is making it difficult to get ahead. Being stuck in your mind about something that you can't figure out how to fix. You haven't taken the time to talk to others about what they can, what can be done. You haven't taken the time to jot down your issue and what you can do to fix it. You're just literally stuck in sadness and depression and just waddling in, in, waddling in a ne negative mindset. You don't want to do that because that can affect you mentally. You affect your mental health and affect you mentally. So care for your mind. Mental health is a journey that is different for everyone and there's no one size fits all approach, but I believe there is prayer. Go to your heavenly father in prayer. And first, first most, when you go to your heavenly father in prayer, you're going to ask him for peace of mind. Okay, that's the first thing you go to is ask your heavenly father for peace of mind. And then once you ask for that peace of mind, then you can go in and ask. Which, what you don't realize is your Heavenly Father sees all. So he already knows what you're going through. But he wanted to see you want to come to him because you, you have free will. So you have to come to them in prayer. You have to go to your Heavenly Father in prayer. And he's going to send the angels down to assist you. But he also wants you to do the work. Whatever you can do on your own to help fix your situation you need to do. Okay? So we had this one before. Okay, so I uh, want to finish up with some of you got this. I want to say to anyone new watching, if you're not a dreamer, you haven't subscribed, please public subscribe so I can see you. And then you're going to comment on the video. Comment on the video helps you to be eligible for any cash giveaways. Um, participating when I ask questions also helps you to be eligible for those, especially in the month of the giveaways. Okay. And then commenting also helps me to welcome you to the channel if you're new. Okay. We want to always click the like button when we're watching these uh, videos. Click the like button. Let me know that you like the content and will help push my video so others can see. Okay. And then if you would like to be aware when I'm popping in, when I'm uploading a new video, please click the notification bell. And my dreamers that's already watching, you still have a responsibility to click the like button. Okay. Make sure you have your notification on so you can see when I'm uploading. Today, I usually don't upload. I uploaded today because I was busy on Sunday and I could not. I did go on a video and let you know um, with a pinned comment that I was not uploading that day. And then I would come on on today to do so. Okay, so let's get some you got this and we got. And I'm going to take two and I'm going to finish y'all.
for today because we're almost at 30 minutes. Okay? You have to go out there and love what you are and who you know you are in terms of your craft. Reginald Vell Johnson. Are you going out and loving who you are, letting the world see that you love yourself first, and then in terms of your craft, loving what you do and creating abundance for yourself in doing so? Okay? Very important. We can't wait for someone to love us. We have to love ourselves. We can't wait for someone to make us happy. You have to make yourself happy. Okay? A lot of people wait for somebody else to do it. I'm bored. I don't have nothing to do. What are you going to do to help me to be bored? No. If you're bored, that's your issue. So find a way to make yourself not bored. If you're not happy, find a way to make yourself happy. Come up with things to do that makes you happy. Okay? Don't put the burden of your responsibility on someone else, okay? And then the last one is get more confidence by doing things that excite and frighten you. And this is the one I didn't like because I don't believe in doing things that frighten me that's going to give me more confidence. I'm confident already. So and the more things I do that excite me, make me even more confident. I allow things not to be, not, and they say I allow things not to, this sounds negative to me. And I've read this before. So I'm not saying that everything has to be positive. We understand that everything is not going to be from a positive point of view. But we also understand that when we find ourselves in that matter, we need to do something to bring ourselves out of the negativity so that we can enjoy the positive, Okay. So I'm not going to read this one from that perspective. I don't, I'm, I'm about to take that one out because I don't like it when things mislead people. Okay. So we're going to just go with the one. And I'm going to thank my dreamers for allowing me to share a talk with you today about the stuff that I talked about earlier. And for me um, sharing the hidden money blocks. If you are ex seem to be... Doing one of these three things that I named, please work on it. Work on it. If your root chakra is blocked, unblock your root chakra. Go to YouTube. Play that meditation music. Unblock it. Go to your Heavenly Father in prayer. Ask Him for peace of mind. Okay? Stop waiting to be saved. If you're waiting to be saved or waiting for someone else to help you, stop doing that. Put in the work that you can do. And then what you don't realize is once you start working on your situation, then your Heavenly Father will send someone to assist you because he sees you doing the work, okay? And your mental health is very important. Stop throwing things that's going to bring down your mental health. Stop throwing things that's going to affect you um, and give you stress and anxiety. Try to find positive ways to, to get through your day, to, to fix whatever's broken, okay? And getting that peace of mind is a big help. Believe me, I know. Okay, so I'm talking from experience. Peace of mind is really necessary. Once you get that peace of mind, you'll see a big difference in how you handle a lot of stuff, especially when something is challenging you. Okay, okay, so, and then I shared, you got this final message was you got this. Oh, goodness, thank you for taking time out of your productive day. It's been a long, it ain't even, the day is not even through yet. And it feels like it's been a long day because I got up early and got a lot done. Okay, bye dreamers.